So you're interested in maybe buying a property abroad in a beautiful location? Well, we've had experience buying in many countries around the world in really stunning locations. And here I am in Greece, in Rhodes, the beautiful little town of Lindos. And um, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the five-step approach that we take to finding and buying property abroad. So if you're interested, join me as I share with you these five steps. Here we go. All right, so step number one, very important, is defining your goal. Why are you buying? And for those of you who follow us in our story, well, you know, it started with a dream, right? Um, I was young and I just loved to travel, been to so many places. And one day I wrote my little book, I said, what if I could own you know, places in different locations that are beautiful. You know, after a little while I go somewhere, I, I, not that I get bored, I just wanna be able to go somewhere else and be there for a while. And I just dreamt about owning places in just beautiful locations. So, uh, but I wanted to be able to make some money, right? So my goal, the reasons why I invested was, I love travel. I love places of stunning natural beauty. I've done lots of photography when I was young. Um, I'm fascinated with real estate. So it's a hobby, it's a passion, it's something I do. And you know what? I wanna be able to make some money. So I invest uh, for capital appreciation. I invest in places that I believe are undervalued. I wanna make some money and, and I've actually done very well buying and selling properties over the years. But I also invest for um, passive income. You know, I had read the book, maybe many of you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and you know, multiple streams of income, and you know, Tony Robbins talking about that. You know, you can't just have the J-O-B, the job providing your income. You should invest in different streams to get income. So I said, I need to diversify, and I'm gonna buy in different places. So that gave me a lot of experience buying. And um, so it's very important that you understand your reasons why you're buying. And if you're buying to retire, right? Um, there's tons of websites, articles of you know where to invest. If your goal is retirement, then you want to know what's the healthcare system. You want to check out you know what's the security, um, amenities, etc. So the reason of buying has a huge impact on selecting the location. So the reasons why, if you're purely in it to make some money and want some rental revenue, you're never gonna go in the places yourself, which is different than us. We always bought a bit higher and nicer where we'd wanna go, not just for the money. If you're just buying for the money, you wanna rent it out and get rental, it's gonna change completely the places you select based on your analysis. So step number one, define the goal. Understand the reasons why you're buying and understand your budget, how much money, has a massive impact on what you can buy. All right, we've done step number one, let's move to step number two. Step number two is what I call general data collection. This is a critical step where you're gonna try to collect as much information as possible about the locations you're considering or the countries you're considering or the cities you're considering. This is where you're coming in and you're researching online and just gathering information. So for instance, in our case, and I'll just you know, keep sharing a bit our examples to illustrate it. At one moment, I was looking at Portugal, or potentially Sardinia. And you know, we went in and looked at you know, what are the tax rules? What are the permit rules? Um, what are, you know, how's the rental, how's tourism? Etc. So you really want to kind of go dig in. So you narrow down to pick what is the location. You have your goal. You want to pick narrow down to the location thanks to this general data collection that you're doing. So you've done the general data collection and you've narrowed it down to a location. Okay. So then step number three, understand the market dynamics. What do I mean is this is very important. And in this stage, it's great to find a site, a website that provides a very rapid way to get an overview. In the case, you know, we've found superb sites when we're looking at Sardinia or here, I'm in the beautiful town of Lindos here in, in Rhodes. And there is a website called Spito Gatos, which is fantastic. You know, you get notifications when new properties come up, you can search with the map looking. So if I want to have a uh, look at a place here in Lindos itself, I can narrow it down on the website. I can see where the locations are. So, you know, it's very important to nowadays with these online platforms, you can do so much research upfront. So the market dynamics is you want to see before you even go, as many properties as possible virtually. You wanna get a sense. So you know your budget, you know what you're looking for. Maybe it's a condo, maybe it's land to build, maybe it's a house, maybe it's a house with a pool. Whatever you define your goals, 
you want to look at as many of those properties as possible. And there's a great site that we use, it's called AirDNA, I'll put a link uh, in the comments, where you can see, you know, the occupancy rate of many locations, you can see how many units are on the market. We also like to go to Air, you know, Airbnb or go to VRBO and go look at similar properties as one that we are planning on buying and looking at how how rented they are. I like to go see, I want to see what rates they're renting at, I like to see how busy they are. So I go click in and I look at the months ahead, the season, I look at the summer for instance, if it's that, if that's the high season like here in Greece, and I want to see properties like the one I'm buying that's pretty much just booked out flat on. That will give me a sense. So we spend quite a lot of time in this phase of um, understanding the market dynamics, getting an idea of the comps, and that's super important because you know, in the old days you couldn't do this. You basically had to go on site. Now you can do all this pre-work from home. It's pretty amazing. All right, step number four is you want to narrow down. So the way I do this is I look at virtually hundreds. I go fast. I have a system of marking up and reaching out to the realtors on the ones I like to get a sense. So I tend to go, you know, from the hundred, I narrow it down to maybe 20, 20 properties I like and I reach out, I put a note on the website so the realtor say, can you send me more information? And there I tend to ask specific questions, it's things that you don't necessarily have on the, on the site. You know, number one is, for instance, in our case, because we buy to rent out Airbnb, I don't want it to be close to a road. I don't want it to be close to noise. And sometimes it's not written out in these descriptions. So I want to make sure upfront, I send all these questions in this analysis to the sites as I'm narrowing it down to understand are there any major pitfalls with the property I'm looking at and then I want more photos so I have a list of questions that I ask and really to narrow down to the top properties and that exercise really gives me a sense of the market I get a great sense of what's a deal not a deal what a price is going for so that was step number four all right step number five the final step is so you know you've done all these steps of assessing uh, you know defining your goal the location, gathering the data, looking at the market dynamics, looking at the units, um, you know, how much they rent for, you know, how many units are on the market, etc. You selected in step four the units, now you schedule your trip. And it's super important uh, to go because you want to make sure that the location you know, is up to your expectations because maybe it seemed beautiful. When we went to Montenegro, you know, everything indicated that we were going to love it. But you don't know. And we went, and in fact, we're blown away and we did videos about that. But the same thing happened, you know, in Costa Rica before we bought. So, I mean, we had been many times, but let's just say I'm considering a place like here in Lindos, but coming to Lindos and being here in person is just you know nothing beats that getting really a sense of a location so and then what you want to do is just want to go what, see as many places as you can and talk to the realtors and just get a sense and then from there you can narrow it down you need to be ready you know if you're ready financially and you have all the information well that's the five-step approach we take and they, these can take a while you know uh, when we're looking in the United States to buy rental property we had spent a long time looking at different cities you know from you know North Carolina South Carolina looking in the keys doing the research and every time you know there are reasons why we decide to abandon locations the keys for instance was minimum most locations had minimum one month rental forget it financially very few people take a month off I want to be able to rent out by the week I want to rent out for four nights so we you know took it off you know in South Carolina we're looking at some you know Hilton Head at the time this was after the crisis uh, markets had rebound but not completely amazing houses I could find for 600,000 huge house pool 500,000 but ultimately we found that the season was too short so we kept looking around and finally we settled on Sedona Sedona in, in um, Arizona why because you know two hour drive to Grand Canyon you have all these beautiful canyons around destination year-round you don't have a short season I mean people come in the summer come in the winter come you know during the holidays so we felt that that was a great look you know great destination and then we went through this five-step process. We narrowed it down in Sedona, right? We were looking for a house. We want a house that stood out. We wanted to rent it. So we had our goals were clear. Our budget was clear. And then we basically, we went on a trip, looked at a bunch of properties, didn't find anything. We're on the lookout. We were ready. We put alerts on websites. And then finally, an amazing property came on sale. 
And at the time I was based in Miami and it stood out, it was different. I knew this property we could rent, the price was right. Sorry, there's a bit of noise with the car here. The price was right uh, and immediately reached out to the realtor and in those three offers on the house, we said, you know what, I'm gonna fight for it. I'm gonna fly out, I'm gonna write to the owner, tell him it's been a year, I've been looking and I fell in love with the house. And ultimately that letter that we sent to the, to the owner made the difference. So, um, so yeah, we have experience with this process and it's worked very well for us. So I hope you liked it. Um, Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you know, click the like button, let us know what themes you want us to cover. We'll keep sharing our experience investing in real estate in beautiful locations. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in a future video. We are on a journey to find real estate deals in places of utmost beauty. We target entry priced luxury properties that are undervalued, delivering high short term rental revenue and high capital appreciation. These are what we call Blue Vista properties. We've bought, sold, renovated, or leased high-end properties or land in stunning locations, including the Swiss Alps, Costa Rica, the south of France, Sardinia, Montenegro, or under the blue skies of Florida and Arizona. You don't need to be a multimillionaire to own an amazing home in the most incredible place. Come with us as we explore new locations develop new projects, explain our methodology, and share the learnings along our journey.